Okay, let's go. We're also a little bit sad. arrived finally talked a lot about assessing violence risk in the acute setting how to mitigate that concerned about for this person um let's go shopping shopping i'm hungry of the PBC Steaks is... So obviously we've arrived. It's actually not too bad. Um, like I thought it'd be worse than I expected, but it's actually okay. Like, it's not the master bedroom, but the toilet's like really close and I just share with... Oh, actually I'm sharing with two... So three people are sharing one bathroom, but that's fine. I think I'm going to wear this pair of scrubs tomorrow. Oh my God, it's so wrinkled. That's fine. I just had a shower and I feel so much better. <sighs> uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. It's currently 5.35. I might do some study and just relax for tomorrow. I've been watching Survivor recently, like I've been binging the series, it's so good. If you don't watch Survivor, you should. Sit down and stop you with your blade, you don't need to do that. So the two girls that I've met so far here are actually so nice, um, I'm very happy that I'm rooming with them. One of them is going to be working with me on the Gen Med Ward, which is very exciting, and she's really nice as well. So. She's never worked with the electronic system, and I haven't had that much experience. I've had a little bit of exposure, but not that much. So it's like the blind leading the blind, but I'm sure we'll figure it out somehow. Our plan is just to go a little bit early tomorrow at like 7 and... Yeah, print the list, get everything prepared, look up patients, and go from there. It was so late, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm late in terms of the fact that it's day one and I thought that I could get there like half an hour to 15 minutes early. At this stage, I'm only gonna get there 15 minutes early. Well, 13 minutes early, so that's fine. But that's fine, that's fine. It was so chaotic because I realized that I forgot my hospital swipe card and I won't be able to get in or do anything without it. So I had to run back from my car back in. <sighs> stressful, very stressful. Should have woken up earlier and I also should have gone to bed earlier. <laughs> I'm kind of excited but also nervy for today. 
day one. Day one is also very nervous because you don't know what anything's like. And even though I've been here before, it's a new consultant. So I really hope she's nice. I really hope she's supportive. I think it's a she, I think, based on the name, but I could be wrong. Okay, it's 7.17. I've still got it. I'm still early. I am absolutely wrecked. <laughs> Came in at 7.15, left at 5.15, no lunch break, went to pee once, bad. But better than my other co-residents. They all work so hard and it's much harder for them because they've never had exposure to this hospital's like electronic system so but it's hard and I'm so hungry <sighs> oh my god and I have stuff all over my eyes it's okay like it, it's fine it's busy actually no it's not busy it's just a lot to slog through I think tomorrow will be better because we've gotten rid of three patients today but Wednesday no Wednesday will be fine because Wednesday we're on take which means that if any new patients come in through ED to Gen Med then my team will take it but Thursday will be rough because that's when we actually have to see the new patients that we've had and that's called post take I hate post take post take is one of the worst things ever top 10 worst things in this world post take especially on Gen Med I'm gonna go home and eat. I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. Maybe I'll just drive home now. I'm not coming back tomorrow. I'm not coming back for the rest of the week. I know I'm contracted to come back the rest of the week, but I'm not coming back. I refuse. just showered and I am so dead. <laughs> currently 7.25. I am rostered on from 7.30, so I'll make it in time. But, I'm so tired. I went to sleep at 11.30. I don't know how. I ended up playing, I ended up playing too many rounds of chess. And then I couldn't fall asleep for some reason. My brain just kept on going. So I felt like I fell asleep at 12. And then I woke up at 6.50. 6.55 was my alarm. And then I had another one for 6.57. And another one for 7. So I'm not even getting 7 hours of sleep. I need to get more sleep. There's a 
spot, which is great. Today should be a bit better because we discharged, we discharged three people yesterday. Was it two? Three or two. And we haven't gotten any new patients because we're not on take until Wednesday. So today should be easier than yesterday because we know our patients and we've gotten rid of some patients. But I'll let you guys know how it goes. Wish me luck. Bye bye. I hope I get to pee more than one time today. I'm off work. I managed to get off at 10.30 today and I'm so happy. Such a good day. I just spent like the whole afternoon in the library. Went to the wards a little bit, but I did mainly spend my time in the library and it was glorious. I'm about to go get takeaway. And I'm in like the city center, but this guy just parked his truck beside me. And there are four dogs in the back. Can you see them? They're so cute. They're all tied together so they can't jump out. But I just was not expecting four dogs. I am very late, but that's fine. Should I tuck it in? I'll leave it out. We're on take today, so hopefully not too many new admissions. Today is actually a really good day because I woke up great. Like my eyes aren't dry like they were for the past two days. Probably because I actually have enough sleep because I went to bed at 9.30 yesterday or 10, which is two hours earlier than normal. I feel great. Like I feel so good. I feel ready to tackle the day. I need to sleep early tonight because this is what I need to be feeling for tomorrow when we're post take. Who you ever thought that I would be this excited to come to workies? Oh, that's a spot as well. Ah! Everything's great. Gotta go get the phone from handover. Bye-bye. We have one more patient to see in ED. They're a HIF patient, so they've come in specifically 
for us to see and then hopefully I can have one. I had such a good day. I was prepping notes, studying, doing my thing, and then at four at three forty the consultant messages me and he's like, Oh, we have two new admits from ED, let's go admit them. I'm like, okay, and he's like, it's gonna be really quick. And we end up finishing at five, and then I have to do all the jobs, so I finish at five thirty. So right now it's five thirty. It's okay though, my consultant's really nice, so I don't mind. But it's just so funny because every time um, something happens and you're like, oh, it's going to be really quick. I'm just going to do this before I go. And then it just takes so long, so much longer than anticipated. But it's okay. I'm still very happy. Overall, pretty good day. Just touched three patients. We have four patients left on the list. We've gained two. So that's six. And then the boss got a call from another hospital about another patient. Sounds like they might need transfers, so there might be another one that's confirmed. And then overnight, hopefully not too many, and then we'll see tomorrow morning. I'm just gonna go home, eat. It just sucks because like normally, like I'm feeling really cooped up right now. I could totally go for a walk. And I could walk here, but there's nothing, like I don't know, I just don't wanna go walking here. <laughs> I wanna do something. And all the shops are closed. Because it's 5.30. And a Wednesday. But it's okay. It's fine. I'm not going to bore you guys with day three in a row of what I eat for dinner, which is probably going to be leftovers and me just chilling on my laptop, maybe sitting outside in the garden, taking a shower, and then sleeping. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. I am a little bit scared because obviously today is post take day and I don't know how many new patients we have. Shall we go through all the patients? Just for funsies. One guy who came in initially because of kind of like anaphylaxis symptoms. It was a rash, bit of a sore throat, but then they found that he had an AKI, so he has the same for fluids. And then we have another guy who's just not really able to cope at home. There was a young girl with pneumonia who just needed some oxygen support and IV antibiotics. So we got out today, she was just an overnight stay. Um, one person with Wernicke's who's just getting IV thiamine. Apparently the treatment is 10 days of IV thiamine, according to AODS. I did not know that. There is an old patient post a knob fracture, just needs some mobility help with physio. Two pal care people. A lady who's had recurrent falls post a subdural hemorrhage six months ago. She just needs some physio and then she can discharge. One patient with COPD just needs some mock stocks, nebs, and someone else with anemia. That person who we think might have a slow GI bleed and needs a scope. Look, it's actually not bad. It's pretty good. Pretty good for Gemmed. Just discharge another patient. We only have nine left now. Hey, I'm one of the residents. Can you put me through to level two, please? Thank you. I mean, we're happy for her to go if she wants to go. Like, I guess mainly it is physio. Um, and if she's happy with that, then she can go. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, because I guess it's like if we can optimize, you know, OT is here tomorrow, etc. But if she wants to go, I guess she can always talk to Jeefy about it. But yeah, up to her. So, if she wants to go, she can go. Today is arguably one of the best days ever because I'm leaving on time. Yes. 
and I only have one more day left tomorrow and then I'm gonna drive home directly after work so I'll need to pack tonight I'll need to clean up and then come to work tomorrow morning drop off my keys after workies hand in my timesheet and then drive oh I also need to check my tire pressures As you guys know, I am leaving tomorrow, which means that I need to pack. But before I pack, I need to get a photo of myself. I need a photo because work is starting next Monday and I need to send a photo of myself to use as my ID card photo. And I've tried just before in the living room. It was disastrous. So hopefully this time it'll be better. I remember at the start of internship when they told us that we needed to send a photograph to them. And at the time, I just put my phone up somewhere random, didn't even ask anyone else to take it for me. And I just took a photo of me having just woken up. No makeup, like wearing some random t-shirt. Because I thought, okay, who's going to see it? It's just going to be on my ID card completely forgot to factor in that we change rotations every 10 weeks and when you change rotations the lovely nurses on the new ward that you go to print out your face and stick it on the wall so everyone can see it boy did i learn so this is still going to be like a selfie like amateur photo but at least i don't look like i've just woken up my face isn't swollen i don't look too bad I've decided this is the one. <laughs> Good morning. This is the last time that I will ever be waking up and ever be getting out and leaving for work from this room. I'm just excited. Excited to go home. Excited to be done. But also a little bit sad. This is my stuff. I have one bag, one suitcase, my other pair of shoes, which are Crocs. I love my Crocs. And my pink bag that I take to work. And my water bottle, and my phone, and my sunnies. That's it, I'm not coming back. Okay, gotta run. We're not discharging anyone today. So we still have nine patients, but hopefully on the weekend they'll go. I'm not on the weekend, obviously, because today's my last day. So I'll have to hand over to the weekend resident as well. And there are two people who might be able to go. So I've prepped their meds, sent them out to pharmacy, and prepped their discharge summaries as well. So if they do go on the weekend, that'll make the life of whoever's covering my team on the weekend a lot easier. just returned my keys and my badge and I am officially done it's so crazy I cannot believe it I've done five weeks 
not five weeks, five days. I've done five days. And that's it. It's over. <sighs> I had so much fun and I would definitely come back in a heartbeat. And if anyone's looking to locum, you should definitely locum at Grafton because they're really, really good. Nothing but good things to say about Grafton. And if I had the opportunity, I would definitely come back here again. Not much to do in the town, but it's still cute. And it's not too far from the big places. Like, it's far, don't get me wrong, but it's not crazy far. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did, because I've never filmed a week in my life ever like I literally filmed this whole week and it was super fun I had an absolute blast and I hope you have fun watching this video of me having an absolute blast bye bye